A lot of you probably dealt with this over the past couple of days. On a bitter cold morning, you came into your car early, you started up the engine, and the tire pressure light came on. It's no coincidence that that happens more often when the air is a lot colder. I'm explaining why in this week's Heather's Weather Wise. Think back to high school science for just a sec. You remember this equation? It's the ideal gas law. Don't worry about the mathematical acrobatics that go behind proving what it says. Just know that at its simplest, it says that as air temperature goes up, the pressure of a gas also goes up. As temperature goes down, the pressure of the gas goes down. Let's apply the ideal gas law to your tires. In general, the pressure inside them should be about 32 PSI or pounds per square inch. At our fairly low altitude, that doesn't change all that much day to day. Sometimes in winter, when we get these big, bitter cold blasts of air, the air temperature both outside and inside your tire drops and fast. Observations have shown that for every 10 degree drop in temperature, the pressure in a tire drops about one to two PSI. A sudden drop in air temperature, especially at night, may trigger that tire pressure light to come on. But if you wait a few hours into the daytime, a little bit of warming may help the pressure recover just enough that the light goes back off. If you see that's happening to you frequently, your tire pressure may be right on the edge of where it should be, and you should think about filling it with some air pretty soon. You can prevent this little nuisance by overinflating your tires a few PSI at the start of winter. The pressure will still fluctuate a little bit, but it won't drop low enough to trigger a warning light. Don't just rely on that little light for absolute certainty when it comes to your tire pressure though. The makes and models of different cars all have different standards for what the tire pressure needs to be. And when it comes to that standard light, it doesn't have to come on until the tire pressure is 25% below the manufacturer settings. Obviously your tire pressure could be a problem before that light comes on. The moral of the story here, when the air is bitter cold, especially for an extended period of time, check your tire pressure yourself and check it often. That's it for this week's Heather's Weather Wise. I'll see you next week with a new topic, but until then, remember it's good to be a geek.